Assalamu alaikum. Today we will start uh, discussing uh, an embryogenesis of the gastrointestinal tract. تطور ونمو الجهاز الهضمي. You know all that the GIT is an important organ to involve with nutrition and support of the body with required energy. This lecture will include only about 20 PowerPoint presentation with a record. You are only required to have this uh, knowledge. No PDF will be sent to you. معناها شنو؟ أنتو المحاضرة هاي ما ما تحتاج بعد دورون منا منا PDF. Only المعلومات اللي موجودة بهاي السلايدات مطلوبة من عندكم. That's all. Okay. If we want to talk about the development of the GIT, I think you all know we said before in the early weeks, the three fourth week, there will be a folding and uh, development. Uh, uh, of the of the folding of the embryo anteroposteriorly and laterally all is it is it ينطوي الجنين يطول وينطوي anteroposteriorly and laterally with this there will be also development of the mesoderm as you know all by the gastrulation or the process of formation of three of three uh, germ layers the ectoderm the mesoderm and the endoderm the mesoderm will start uh, divided into two parts the subplanet mesoderm and Somatic mesoderm. The somatic mesoderm will 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 have it in lined. راح يبطن the body walls. راح يكوننا بعدين فيما بعد يكوننا the parietal peritoneum. وعندنا the visceral peritoneum اللي هو جاي من the splenic mesoderm. Okay. That will form the mesentery of the of the body regarding the GIT. I mean, the GIT main tower. It it is is formed as a tube-like structures from the endoderm, and it is lined. Uh, by the by, by the endoderm that, that lines the yolk sac. This is the uh, GIT as a canal or a tube-like structures with two blind end. From what is a GIT? This is a from this this is from from the clinical point of view. A GIT is a continuous hollow muscular tube lined with a specialized mucosa, which is to, started from where from the oral cavity. The juvenal femur. Pharynx, esophagus, stomach, and then duodenum, and then duodenum ileum. That will form these three parts: the duodenum, duodenum ileum, form the small intestine, and then the large intestine, which is formed by the uh, cecum, uh, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and rectum and anal canal. This is the whole GIT. And clinically, from a clinical point of view, the division اللي قبل حجيت عليه هذا كل division اللي هو embryonic division. The three parts. For gut, mid gut, hind gut. But in, the, in this uh, uh, diagram, that is the, from clinical point of view, من ناحية سريرية من نحكي إحنا من ناحية سريرية نقول upper GIT لا ور GIT. شخص بال upper GIT أقصد oral cavity, أقصد oropharynx, أقصد laryngopharynx, esophagus, stomach, small intestine. هذا upper GIT. من أقول لا ور GIT أقصد بي large intestine اللي تشمل شنو cecum, appendix, colon, rectum, anal canal, anus. Okay. Each part of these two parts, the upper and lower GIT, have a specialized function. Regarding the upper GIT, it involves defense, digestion, and absorption. It will have the main function of the bowel. The food taken by mouth, it will be digested. Some parts by the oral secretions, hormones, and enzymes. And then will pass to the stomach. It will be partially digested and then formed. Uh, another another uh, digestion in the in the small intestine that is pancreatic secretion, liver secretion, gallbladder secretion, and then absorption partly from the small intestine and main function of the large intestine that is the lower part, the lower GIT, is the defense uh, mechanism, and it contains a commensal bacteria, bacteria bacteria متعايشة مع ليست مؤذية. It involved with absorption. Of electrolyte and water, and then formation of uh, uh, waste product. He said the GIT is, is formed by the third, fourth week, as from the endoderm of the yolk sac. It like uh, occurred as a tube-like structures with two blind end anterior posteriorly, that will elongate and start folding anteriorly and posteriorly, and also with the lateral folding. So it will be enlarged and elongate. These cells will start to gradually will be in, uh, dividing and it will align this, this tract or this tube. 
يعني يصير التيوب لايك ستركشرز بلايند اول مره وبي بروليفريشن ماس سيلز مثل اسطوانه ومعقوفه من امام وخلف ولاترال همينا لان بها الونجيشن اتساع اتساع وعرض وطول وفولدينج اند لايند باي 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 كولونز of of arranged cells that that enlarge by proliferations. This is the this slide show how this slide has the pink color canal anteriorly. This is the foregut and the midgut and the hindgut. Bil baby bil embryo, the GIT bil origin malhet it comes from three parts: foregut, midgut, hindgut. So, so now we are talking about four gut formation. The pharyngeal uh, gut or the pharynx extend from the oropharynx membrane to the respiratory diverticulum and it's part of the four gut. To start with, really, with, with the pharynx, to start with both the respiratory tract and the GIT is uh, one in one, in one uh, uh, single uh, tube, that is the pharynx. Later on, it will be canalized and from the ventral portion of the, of the tube, that is tube, the pharynx, the, there will be a, a development of the respiratory diverticulum and the other part will, will start formation uh, the foregut or the uh, esophagus and then down to the remaining of the GI tube. The midgut begins colder to the liver from the mouth to the first part of the duodenum. it is the foregut. The midgut started from where? From the that area of the duodenum or the, the, uh, the other uh, uh, two-thirds of the duodenum or from where the exactly from the coda to the liver and extend to the junction of the right two-thirds and the left third of the transverse colon in the adult. The hind gut extended from the left side or the left third which will be the descending colon to the cloacal membrane. The cloacal membrane how many to start with equal single blind tube like structures down يعني dorsally and then with the development there will be a, a septum that divide this area into two parts and ventral part to posterior part the ventral part راح يكون لنا urogenital sinus where the distal part or the, the, or the dorsal part will form the uh, uh, hindgut يعني يكون لنا urogenital system ما راح ندخل في التفاصيل مع urogenital then I think you will take it in details regarding the fifth year in the gynecology. So let's now complete the development of the uh, GIT and the citroma as, uh, as we said before that f the GIT we, we said it is will develop from the uh, endoderm of the yolk sac. The endoderm forms the epithelial lining of the GIT, digestive tracts. These cells, I mean the endodermal cells that line the GIT will form the specific cells, the parenchymal cells that form the glands, the hepatocyte, the exocrine, and the endocrine function of the, of the pancreas. So the من أقول lining مال ال GIT كلها جاي من من ال endoderm والمو بس هذا ال functional tissue اللي يشمل lining اللي موجودة ال glands, the secretions كلها هذه also it is come from the endodermal origin. استتروما إحنا كنا كل tube أو كل 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 مكان بالجسم مقسم إلى ميكوزا سبميكوزا بعدين عندك مسلز بعدين بريتونيال لايرز هذا الهيستولوجي مال كل اجزاء الجسم يتقسم الى فور بارتس ميكوزا سبميكوزا مسكولار لاير اند ذن كفر اللي هو البريتونيوم السبميكوزا والمسل سيلز هذا سبورتف تشو سبورتف تشو اللي شنو بي بي مسل بي فايبرز بي بلاد فازلز بي نير تمشي هذا السترون السبورتف تشو اللي هو يبدي من صدر ميكوزا فردر اب هذا مين جاي يجي من الميزوديرم من الفيزر ميزوديرم فالجي اي تي اللايننج مالها اندوديرم والسب ميكوزا والسبورتنج المنت او سترومال بارت از فروم ذا فيزر ميزوديرم اللي يحوي كوندكتيف تشو يحوي ماسلز از وي سيد بيفور سيد اور ديسكاس بيفور ذا ذا فور جات The pharyngeal gut exactly will be divided by the tracheoesophageal uh, septum that divides into two structures: the ventral part, the respiratory diverticulum, and the dorsal part, including the uh, the esophagus.
to start with is very short in length and then by the uh, d uh, descent of the heart and the lungs to the uh, to the chest it will length rapidly this diagram exactly show what we're talking about here you can see this هذا البرتقال هي التيوب هذا اللي هو الجات طبعا تشوفون هذا من هذا الفارنكس اكو بارت هذا البلو كلر ذا فيرتيكولوم ذات از ذا اسف ذا ذا ريسبيرتوري ذا فيرتيكولوم ات ويل ديسند داون فورمينج ذا تراك اند ذن ات ويل بي جيفينج تو بادز تو ذا رايت اند ليفت سايد اند فورميشن ويل ايتش رايت اند ليفت لونج اند ذا اذر بارت ذات از ذا فارنكس ويل جو داون باي ذا ذس Uh, the uh, orange uh, tube beside the blue one that is the esophagus and then it will be the uh, stomach and, and now later we will talk about development of the stomach the tube of the of the foregut will descend down further after development of the esophagus and the the part down to the esophagus it will be expanded and uh, elongate expand and elongate at about exactly at about four to fifth week of gestation and then there will be a sac like structures will be formed that is the stomach and later on gradually during the further two three weeks later this uh, sac like structures will uh, rotate around itself it will rotate from posterior to anterior this is the rotation من ال من ال left side من posteriorly to the to the anteriorly هذا مي تسعين درجة حوالي ب حدود الأسبوع السابع أسبوع من ال pregnancy راح يكون لنا ال ال fusiform like structures ويسموه هذا ال stomach طبعا ال process is continuous مو في شيء واقف هو طبعا ال development the downward elongation or proliferation of cells is continued عملية مستمرة هي. It will go down. صار في وسوسة من structures. ويا الاستدارة مال ال الاستوكس عند درجة إن along المحور الطولي مالتها. راح ال growth إذا يستمر ال growth مال التيوب راح يتجي part second to the stomach. اللي راح يكون ويا rotation راح يصير يعني بحرف كأنه ما حرف L بس معقوف. اللي راح يكون لنا دودنام. اللي يكون راح يكون لنا C shape. ويا rotation مال ال ال stomach. طبعا البداية يكون حوالي تقريبا طوله 25 سنتيم يستلم سكريشن من الليفر والبنكرياس وما بي طبعا الدودنا ما بي احنا قلنا كل كلامنا داخل قلنا كل البادي وول بيها الكافيتيز مال البادي وول بيها بارايتال بريتونيوم جاي من السوماتيك ميزوديرم وكوش البارت اللي ابلايد للتشو كلها يغلفها اللي هو الغشاء المساريق الميزنتري يغلف الاستومك يغلف الاسوفاجاس يغلف ال 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 بقية ال GIT بس ال ال دودنام ما بي ما بي ما بي ميزنتري ميزنتري هي شنو فد فد فوق من البريتونيوم تعلق التشو بال بال بدون كافيتي إذا شايفين بالتشريح تشوف أكو حتى الاستومك يعني مو يشط إذا بس يجمع على الجلاس بكفى شيء يسند بال بالكافيتي مال بدون كافيتي اللي هي هذه الميزنتري ما عدا الدودنام الدودونوم بيفت خاصية معينة انه هو ريترو بريتونيوم ورا البريتونيوم صاير and it is fixed to the posterior abdominal wall ما متحرك كل الأجزاء مال الستومك مال الـ GIT أقصد سوري كلها متحركة ما عدا الدودونوم it is fixed to the posterior abdominal wall كملنا هسا صار الدودونوم نفس الشيء تستمر الـ tube like structures هذا يبقى يضاعف ويطول وتشو البروليفريشن يصير راح يكون البادز اوف تشو راح يبدي يسوي هم البروليفريشن اوف اوف اندوديرمال سيلز راح يكون لنا الليفر اللي راح بعدين ديفرنشيت تو هيباتو بلاست نفس الشيء هم يبدي يغلف البريتونيوم من الميزوديرم نفس الشيء بعدين شوي شوي تبدي يعني يصير كونكشن ويا جي اي تي هاي سيلز تبدي يصير بها ترابط يكون لنا البايل داكت Going on with the development of the stomach, I think I described how the stomach will be developed. I, I saw that it is a sac-like structure that uses from dilatation, and then it will be uh, changing. It will be elongate, and then there will be a rotation, 90 degree clockwise along the longitudinal axis, 
and uh, we talked about that uh, same thing with the development of the pancreas as we said it, w- it will also the proliferation of tissue will continues and the pancre- pancreas as we know it has two parts the ventral dorsal part and the uh, have two, two ducts the ventral and dorsal pancreatic duct and both of them will come uh, to uh, uh, had a, had a connection with the duodenum by the dorsal and ventral pancreatic duct Duct, and these ducts with the rotation of the stomach and involvement with the rotation also because it is attached to the duodenum, the ventral pancreatic duct will move posteriorly and finally both ducts will come uh, together and the pancreas will be formed. We said before the mid duct is the area of the gut from the entrance or dorsal to the entrance of the bile duct to the area where termination of the junction of the proximal two-third of the transverse column with the distal third. This area is the midgut which is connected to the yolk sac by the vitelline duct and the, air, the uh, process of development of the intestinal loops characterized by rapid proliferation and elongation. As we said before, the intestinal loops characterized by a phenomenon of rapid elongation and, and uh, proliferation and uh, because the space of, the, of the, uh, the, uh, the abdominal cavity of the embryo is very limited, this rapid elongation of the pro- with the proliferation is associated with a phenomenon of coiling. So the space is limited. Part of this coils of the intestinal loops will, will, will herniate down outside to the outside to the peri- to the uh, through the uh, through the uh, umbilical. Uh, open any umbilical uh, yolk sac it will be connected to the outside so there is herniation this herniation this herniation, this herniation, uh, this herniation will, will, will get back to the abdominal cavity at about 10th week exact mechanism how this uh, process is coiled uh, is, uh, is carried out nobody knows exactly but definitely, the expansion of the embryo's abdominal cavity has an important role in this return of the cause of small bowel to the uh, abdomen. Now we come to the hand gut formation. Exactly, we said that the hand gut give rise uh, or formed by the distal part of the transverse colon, the descending colon, the sigmoid, the rectum, the upper part of the uh, anal canal. And uh, the, the, the area of distal to that, we call it cloaca, which is, as I said, it is expanded like distal part of the, of the, of the, of the hind gut that uh, will, uh, by, the, by the about seventh week, there is a cloacal membrane will be ruptured. There is a, a septum will develop exactly that will di- differentiate this area, the cloaca, or divide the cloaca into a ventral urogenital sinus and dorsal uh, part for the anal opening. Please go through uh, all slides. There is, in each slide, there is a question. You can, you can, you can uh, guide yourself. What is the uh, any, what, what what there is in this slide? What, what this slide tells me? For example, the urogenital sinus. Any, at what at what time exactly it will form? What is the cloaca? What is the midgut? What is the foregut? What is the uh, uh, how uh, the uh, uh, pharyngeal uh, will, will pharynx will de- develop into the ventral por- part? Yani at what time? Uh, how the stomach will rotate? All these questions should be answered. If you know these, the answer to these questions, that's all. This is the lecture, and uh, the GIT. Yani, uh, I think I I I I, uh, I try to simplify the matters for you by these lectures. Don't worry. These events, which are which are mentioned here, only that or uh, are, are all that's required from you at this stage. Go back again to this lecture and put for yourself the questions or an event. What is the cloaca? As I told you, if you find any difficulty, I can explain in the next uh, uh, in, in the uh, in the time of lecture we will meet together. And uh, that's all. Thank you. And finally, go through all these slides again, please. In each slide, there's a question. Try to put a question for you and answer the questions. If you look at the question to each, uh, the answer, sorry, the answer for each question, that means you 
uh, get uh, the lesson and if you find any difficulty we will explain the matters in the time of lecture and thank you